Well, good morning and welcome to New Year's Eve. I'm out recording another video and I'm back at Lower Moor Farm Nature Reserve. Basically, because I want to try and get a better picture of that kingfisher. Because last time I just felt that my 400mm zoom lens just wasn't quite long enough. So instead of going down a route of buying a longer lens, I bought a teleconverter. Or rather, my wife bought me a teleconverter for Christmas. So I'm out here just to give that a go on my Nikon D7500. Incidentally, I did go out the weekend before Christmas to record a video. I had a fog all day and uh, took a couple of images. The only reason that video didn't go up is because the SD card got corrupt and I lost all the files. I tried to recover them, but I could only recover four of the 20 files that um, I lost. So that video didn't go up because of that. So, and that was the Christmas video. But anyway, I'm, um, I'm out here on Lower Moor Farm now, going back up to the hide where I saw the Kingfisher, just to try out the teleconverter on my Nikon D7500 and the Sigma 100-400 contemporary lens. So we're nearly there and I'll see you in a bit. of that branch where the uh, kingfisher sits both with the teleconverter and without i'll put the one without the teleconverter on first and then i'll fade into the one with the teleconverter i've got the teleconverter fixed on the camera at the moment and um i've got it trained right on that branch it's give me a little bit of extra reach so it will be interesting to see what pictures you know i can hear the kingfisher calling away at the, at the top there there he is I'm just hoping they come, they come down a bit further. Anyway, it's waiting game. So that branch that you see poking out the water there covered in moss is the uh, branch where the kingfisher was landed on. Um, this has been shot with the, with the Nikon in 4K which gives you the extra crop. So that's where he was on there but as you can see it's raining so I'm not going to get my hopes up too high today. But I will wait here and see if he does make an appearance. But that's the... Um, branch where he favoured. And we'll keep the camera trained on there and see if he makes an appearance. So what's this contraption I've got my um, camera mounted on? Well I affectionately call it a fry pod. I got this idea from Paul Miguel Photography on YouTube. And what it is, it's an old Tranger 25 frying pan and I've uh, drilled a hole through the centre and I've affixed an old ball head on top of that which enables me to come to hides without bringing my um, big tripod. I can just rest it on the shelf there and also enables me to get down really low um, so I can still take some nice low shots with it being on a tripod and I've still got movement up and down, round and round. But over in them trees over there in here I've just seen a woodpecker unfortunately I've lost it but if it comes back I'll see if I can take a picture right well I have seen a, a kingfisher it came in right close it was literally right down there I'll put some video 
over the top of where I'm speaking now on the branch that it was at but it's literally about 20 feet away and um, I was I was cleaning my lens at the time so I missed it <laughs> I heard it before I saw it and um, as I looked up it was right down the branch so got my camera up ready and it just went and it flew off across the other side and it was the female because it had the um, the flash of orange and with the, the male the difference between a male and a female kingfisher, they are identical, um, except the female has got um, orange mandible, lower mandibles, and a bit of black on it as well, so that's the way to tell. Um, at the moment, all I'm seeing is ducks at the moment, and I know where the kingfisher is, right on the other side, and it's just too far off to take a picture. But anyway, I'll keep on looking, and I'll see you later. Wow, well, the kingfisher arrived. Absolutely wonderful, and it was really close as well. And it, the um, the teleconverter really paid off in that respect. It went on the branch that I showed you earlier, um, but I couldn't I couldn't autofocus it on that branch quick enough. But as luck would have it, he flew over into the um, other tree that's right opposite me. In fact, if I put the uh, video on here now. And I'll just focus on that tree a minute. Zoom out. So it was focused on this tree here. Right opposite me. Focused on that tree there. Right in front and it was right on this branch. Just there. Let's zoom in. It was right there, and I managed to get off a load of shots. Um, then he dived into the water down in here, and then he went, flew up into that lower branch there, and he stayed there, went up into the middle, and then he flew off over in that direction. So that was absolutely wonderful. Really pleased I got that, and um, all my patience has uh, paid off because it's now half past one in the afternoon and I've been here since 10 o'clock and um, not seen the king, well I saw the kingfisher earlier when I was cleaning my lens but that was absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful to see and I think I might have got a picture of it with the fish in its mouth although not a very good one but anyway I got the fish at kingfisher, I got what I wanted and I'm happy so I'm going to stay here for another hour or so, a couple of hours until it starts to get dark incidentally the teleconverter on the um, Sigma 100-400 Contemporary, it's the TC-1401 I got and um, it gives you F9 at 400mm and it gives you F8 from 100 to 250 and then F8.5 from 250 to 300 and then it goes up into F9. But yeah, I can't wait to get them images home and have a good look at them. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Um, coming up to 10 to 3. Got about an hour and a half or so of daylight left. I'm going to sit here for the next three quarters of an hour. The kingfisher did make a reappearance. It f it's flown from left to right and right to left a couple of times. Um, but it's not settled. I've got my lens trained on that branch because every time it's settled, it's settled on that branch down there. I wasn't quite quick enough the first time, but um, hopefully I'm going to get it before I go. So I'll sit here for the next three quarters of an hour and um, bide my time. What is it? Come away from the hide now. It's um, getting on to half past three. There, that's the hide just there. And uh, I'm going to slowly walk back to the car. There's uh, two other lakes here that I can stop at and have a look at, which I shall probably do. And uh, if anything of interest comes up, I'll uh, I'll bring you back. But in the meantime, I'm just going to start slowly walking my way back to the car and see what else we can find. 
So what I'm looking at at the moment is a herd of geese. Or a flock of geese, not a herd of geese. Stupid boy. So I've got a flock of geese. And I've got a swan. With its uh, wings up. Chasing after them. What I'll do is I'll put a picture of what I get of it because the swan chasing the, goo the geese is actually quite funny. the light is now just too low to uh, take any more photographs so back to the car we go and I'll say thank you for watching I've got what I wanted I've got the Kingfisher and hopefully a better picture of it I won't know that until I get home but you've probably already seen it and uh, I'm really pleased with it I'm glad it came in really close as well that really did make my day and it sitting there all that time you know it does make it worth it you know and anyway I'll say thank you for watching. I wish you all a very happy new year because it is New Year's Eve. I wish you all the best for 2022 and I will see you next year for another video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs>